Hi all, Bones here again from AusBSA Bams and welcome back to our workshop. A uh, couple of jobs on today. And the first one is repair this broken out fin on this um, Bantam engine. I spoke to the customer about this and because this engine is going to be vapour blasted and polished covers and things like that, we've decided that we'll do the the fin repair to this engine. If it was a an original patina type bike, I probably wouldn't recommend or worry about it because you've got your head your head sitting on top. So and it's a little bit hard to see, but because this sort of going to be a Rolls Royce uh, engine restoration, we've decided that we're going to do the fin repair. So uh, as you can see, it's broken in a in a crescent shape. So I will. Cut it straight across so I've got a clean straight line. That allows me to cut a bit out of this very butchered up barrel and I'm going to uh, bronze the, the new section back into this. So I've done it before and uh, it comes up alright. So we'll get stuck into it. First things first, I'll scribe a line across here and uh, Get the grinder out and we'll, we'll trim that broken fin off. So I'll just get some safety glasses on. Because these ones are my normal reading glasses. And we have scribed the line across there. And I'm now just about to cut the old broken section off. Pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dress that dead flat with a file. So but what I'll also do is get some barrel studs and drop them down through the holes so both the barrels line up and then I'll use this as a reference to scribe across here and cut cut the other the other piece off here. Cut off our cut off our piece that's how I'm going to weld it up. Put the tiniest chamfer on either end. And we'll bronze it in place like that. So we're getting ready to bronze this up. So ideally, obviously cast iron, you've got to get a, a heat soak through it. If you localise the heat, it just cracks. So, um, I'll be welding or bronzing along here, let it cool a bit, take the clamps off and then finish my edges, finish my edges off. Alright, we're just going to start the job. I'm just slowly, slowly, slowly getting some heat into it. Bit too much flux on that. It's just getting a fraction too much heat. So what Justin's doing there is just getting some heat or maintaining some heat in it while it cools down. It's not working the way I wanted it to. There's a fair bit of crap coming out of the material. So what I'm going to do is take it away from here and bead blast all the surfaces. Uh, probably sand down a bit more, giving myself a bit of a clean surface. I really wanted it to go into the groove, but it just doesn't seem to be taking it. It seems to be just picking up crap and putting it into the like the, the weld pool for one of a bit of a turn. So we'll keep progressing, but we'll, we'll be right. So I put it, the job in the bead blaster. I'm just reheating again, cleaned up all that surface, which is probably what I should have done the first time. And we'll see how we go this time. 
So I've got a prong start. You can see it looks pretty black and shitty and that's the amount of crap coming out with the, um, the flux. I've just got the hot air gun just slowing the cool rate down on this so it doesn't um, crack on um, once I get all the slag and, shit and, and stuff off all the flux off it you'll be able to be able to see it but I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the way it went so we'll let it cool down I'll dress it up and I'll bring you back to have a look and see what the final end result was so we've got it done not the prettiest bronzing I've ever done it was a little bit challenging because a lot of there's just so much shit coming out of the material um, where it sort of looks like I've missed there it's actually gone through the gap and and through there but I mean th this barrel's getting blasted and painted so um, probably might be being a bit picky on myself I just wanted it to run a bit better but it just kept dragging crap out of the edge um, but we've got enough bronze in there and that's you know more than strong enough and looks good too and that's what we want okay what Jussie's doing there is just setting up the the engine case that we had in the last episode where we had to get the crankcase cut out and re-weld it up so what Justin's doing now is setting up so we can spot face the top of that and re-drill the hole in the for the current case drain he's just lining up the cutter now to the existing or what's left of the existing spot face and we'll we'll get close to to uh spot facing it and then drilling and and uh tapping it out and now is we're actually going to spot face this so just going to turn the milling machine on which will be pretty loud and we'll <laughs> Okay, so what we've changed our setup, we've got a Jacob's chuck in and now we're going to send a drill a hole. Rightio, so now we've got our tapping drill size in, we're going to drill a hole. So we put a chamfer on that hole and, and Justin's just tapping it, that hole out now. We're really happy with where it uh, ran through into the crankcase. So it's all going really well. We have just finished tapping it and that's our repair done. You see a bit of the black stuff from the well there but the real critical thing is having this face dead square to that hole because that's where it seals up. You lose crankcase seal and you won't have an engine that will run basically at all. So we're really happy with the way this went. It's looking good. Okay, so what we've done is put our cases out back together and our barrel back together. And this customer wants a bit of, little bit of, well, not performance work, but just clean up. So you can see the edge of your exhaust port there. And the piston's currently at bottom dead center. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna die grind out this little bit here you can see around on the transfer how there's a lip there we're going to just take the bottom of that transfer down so it matches the transfer over this side which you can't see so we're just going to scribe a, scribe a line through there set up die grind these so those port levels are uh, nice, and, nice and straight and we don't have this lip here we've already cleaned out the the ports and the transfers and then we'll go back and we'll, we'll actually match port it to the case so we'll get in we'll die grind these out So we'll get around there to our, our exhaust port and as you can see we've taken that lips out of either corner. There's no lip there now. So we're utilising the whole port 
transfer on this side. We've taken the two corners out of here and made it nice and level. I mean, this isn't a race porting job by any stretch of the imagination. It's basically doing what the Japanese would have done and made sure all your ports and everything line up properly. So we're going to give this a home now and this will... Uh, sorry, we're not going to give it a home. We're going to match port to the case. So we're going to split the cases now. So what we're going to do now, we've dropped the barrel on and we're looking for a lip between the case and the barrel in here. And we have got a lip, it's over this side and the case is actually overhanging the barrel. So we're going to have to take a little bit out of the side of this case. As I said before, this is not a full blown race porting job. All we've done is we're cleaning up all the ports, make sure there's no casting dags, make sure the ports are in the right position, make sure there's no overlaps to interrupt the flow through your transfers. So we'll take this apart and I'll just take a lick out of this side here. So I've got this Gucci little tool here which is a, a bent scriber so I can reach up and get into it but you can see how much meat's got to come out just around here. You can barely make out the line just there so we'll die grind that back. So as you can see, we've just taken a bit out, it's probably oh, a millimetre and a half off, off this wall down here and just got the the sanding drum on the on the die grinder and just blended it in a bit and made it all nice and smooth so that'll marry up really nicely. Now we're going to go and get the other case, obviously put the barrel on that and see what error we've got there. That's come up good. So we've got the barrel over on the left hand case and as you can see, you can see how much of the transfer is overhanging into the case transfer. So I've described the line around that. So on this side, we're not taking meat out of the case, we're actually taking it out of the transfer to blend the transfer in to marry up to... And that's the sort of stuff that the Japanese don't do. All their stuff's spot on and if the little Bantams, they actually respond well to cleaning all this stuff up and getting going opening and um, like getting it all blended and everything like that I'll tell you right now it's not make not going to make 10 miles an hour difference out of it but it certainly makes them go a lot better and these are all the little one percent things you can do in, to your engine to make them go really well so yeah we'll get in and we'll die grind that out oh, it's a little bit hard to see but um, if I get the camera that out of the way of the camera, there you go, you can you can sort of see um, how we ended up. I just sanded the, the inlet of the case, but that's all that's all married up and it's really nice now. So barrel gets a hone and we send these away to go get blasted. Barrel will be blasted and painted. Okay, so what I'm doing now is going around all the edges of my ports and I'm just feeling with my finger to feel if they're a little bit knife edged and if they are put a rifle and file and I'll just file the edge of that port away that's I just put my finger in the exhaust and it's the top edge is a little bit a little bit sharp and that can snag a ring so before it goes away I'm just filing a tiny little bit of a chamfer so that knife edge well, it's basically I'll put a tiny little chamfer on it, that's better. So, so yeah, you haven't got that real super sharp edge. Now also do your, do your transfers, that needs doing. And I'll need doing as well because we've gone in with the die, die grinder and finished up those edges so they'll have a sharp edge. So I'll go around all the ports, file the top and bottom edges off, little chamfering, doesn't snag the ring. I haven't sat on this bike since I was at Selling Speech, but anyway, it's as uncomfortable now as it was then. Alright, that's about it for this episode. Justin's just over there cleaning up the cases and the barrel. I've just given the barrel a home. And we're sending everything off to the vapor blasters to get all blasted up. Um, I hope you 
you've enjoyed this uh, this episode and if you have hit like or subscribe and uh, that's about it thank you very much again to all my subscribers uh, for, for sticking with me and from Justin and I at Oz Phantoms we'll see you later